Hello, good evening. It's been a little while. Um, so, Sky Glass 1.3 OS. Got it on my Sky Glass. Must say, not really much difference on there. There's a few, a few things that I have seen that, or maybe only one, that actually make things a little bit easier. Um, but all in all, mm, no, there's not really much difference. The whole actor thing. I'm not even sure how you actually access that. I thought it was something that come up here, but I've not seen a way of doing that at all yet. Um, I've only had a little bit of a look at it because it's only come on my telly this morning, which, well, I'm guessing it was this morning because I had the telly on just on normal BBC TV and it just kept cutting off, trying to load the programme and uh, sort of restarting and not restarting the actual TV, but restart the actual programme and then it went back onto this page off and on. I unplugged it, plugged it back in. It was fine. Went to work, come back and around lunchtime it was a new os so pretty cool so they're obviously rolling it out i know another one of my subscribers has um put down saying he's got a uh, 1.3 and i think there was another chap as well who said there wasn't really much on there <clears throat> obviously i will try out the uh, gaming to see if there's any difference with that but i'm not doing that in this video um so let's have a quick look i'm going to step back so you can sort of see the screen so here we go so that's your normal screen it looks no different at all <clears throat> uh, da -da -da -da, all the way down to the lovely settings i don't think there's anything oh no hang on let's go back up to the top because i think i haven't noticed this before the little bar at the top you've now got audio music fitness and international now i don't think that was on there before but it's not really a thing that i use only for if i want to go to movies <clears throat> so if you go all the way down here all the way down to your settings press that and you get this this looks really really nice um it's a very androidy type ios type looking screen and i think it looks really really nice but as soon as you press that it just goes straight back into the old menu so bit pointless they could have worked on that a little bit more um just all the standard settings there still so there's nothing new there i think that might be new because i can't say i've noticed that before <clears throat> um network are still exactly the same now what i really hate with this network is when you put the password in you get that silly bar that goes up and down rather than an actual um sort of keyboard layout which is so much easier that silly little bar that goes up and down is an absolute nightmare to use so that's just something else advanced settings that's just your same rubbish um accessibility pretty sure this was on here before but it is quite a good little thing to have you know if you do have issues with certain bits that you need to do <clears throat> connected devices exactly the same i would like to try this out again with my soundbar even though i'm not using my soundbar at the moment because i can't seem to get the subwoofer to pair to it so i've ditched that and it does seem that they've done something to the sound on the tv on the dolby atmos it actually sounds quite damn good now which i was really really shocked with but i haven't used the standard sound for the tv since i got it uh, because I didn't use my soundbar straight away because I wasn't sure how to set it up and it sounded terrible then but now it does sound pretty damn good and I'm quite happy with just using the sound on the on the telly at the moment it's it's brilliant um <clears throat> I probably won't know I'm probably going to end up going with a full proper surround sound system none of the um soundbar malarkey because that's just doing my head in and i can't be bothered with any of that shit anymore sorry about the swearing so i would like to see if i can connect it just to see if it works you never know they might have changed that <clears throat> i haven't seen anything for setting up the remote though for your other devices that would be something nice um right so then we go down to that's your pin usual stuff yeah privacy 
usual stuff. I think I'm pretty sure that was on there before where you could turn the mic on and off. It might not have been in that menu, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Start up and standby. Same rubbish, which really annoys me is the, where is it? That one there. When it doesn't detect motion, turns the telly off. Now, it happens in films and it's really, really bloody annoying. But you can't just turn that off. Everything else turns off as well. So if you just turn each individual one off, that would be brilliant. Listen, Sky, to make it so then you can turn this one off and on. Because if you're watching a movie or you're watching something over an hour long, um, it tries to turn telly off. If you're not quick enough getting your remote control, bang, because it doesn't give you a lot of time to do it. So, OK, viewing preferences. Same, same, nothing, nothing changed there. Um, ah, that might be the new, that possibly could be the new thing with the actors and stuff, but we will dive into that at some other point. Then we go down to system management. Right, so there we go. Boom. 1.3. Not really much difference. I'm hoping the gaming thing is going to be noticeable, because I'll notice it. We'll, we'll find out. So this is where it's different. Restart your device so you don't have to unplug it. Someone said that in one of my comments, which I think is really good. But I don't think the restart is going to fix everything. Unplugging will always fix everything because you're losing all power to the thing and it's restarting up properly. Um, and factory reset. I don't think that was there before. I think it was a different way of doing it. Can't really remember. So before you used to only get that. Refresh your apps, uh, which I don't really know what it's about because you click it, it doesn't do anything and adds newly available out here I've not seen it do a damn thing ever when I've clicked it it's not doing anything now it might be doing something in the background but I don't know not that I can see now everything else let's put on something with ah la 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 let's just pop that on so to get the thing up at the bottom, that little bar, you press your little three buttons. Now, I do believe you used to be able to uh, change the audio. And I don't seem to have that option anymore, which I didn't before. Um, and I think in the original, you could. Um, that's just for your Bluetooth and whatever else. So, uh, And I haven't seen anything different down here at all. I always put enhanced speech quality on because otherwise it can be, if you're watching films, it can be overpowering where all the sound drowns out all the speech and it can be bloody annoying. Um, oh God, it's gone. So there's nothing else new there whatsoever. Ah, oh, look, you can turn the mic off and on there as well. What's the point of having that other option? <laughs> Bit silly. Anyway. Oh dear. Let's just turn that off. Let's get back over there, press the wrong button. Um, other than that, I cannot see where the fame, the, the, your favourite actors and stuff, where you select that, unless you have to actually select that in the programme when you're actually watching it. Um, I can't see anything different there at all. I believe the main update for this was, oh, gone a bit dark there, was... Um, just literally for all the gamers that were moaning and this that and the other but like i said if you're an actual proper gamer you will be using a gaming monitor not a tv um gaming monitors are going to cost you quite a lot of money to get 4k at a decent size um i'm guessing this is a cheaper option of doing it is through a telly but this is my quick low down count whatever on uh the uh, 1.3 OS. So let me know what any of you else, else of you, uh, uh, let's start again. Let me know if any, if you've, any of you have found anything different that um, I can have a look at and see if it actually uh, is worth it. But at the moment, I don't, it's no big whoop de doo you know, it's, it's nothing. It's just, it's just an update. It's just a software update with minor fixes there might be other ones you know fixes and, and, and things hidden underneath that I don't know about haven't found out about but it's something that we're gonna have to have a look at so like I always say 
Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe because the subscribers is going up quite well now and I like the way it's doing it because it's not going down and it, it goes down a little bit like one or two but I think that's uh, um, these lovely people. Uh, they, if you don't watch a channel after a certain amount of time it unselects you which I found I get a lot of that with the people I watch I, I've subscribed to. I haven't watched them for a little while and I thought oh why, why am I not seeing that? I, I watched one of their videos and then it, it's unsubscribed me. So YouTube unsubscribing people that don't watch. I think it's a little bit unfair really because there's a lot of channels I don't watch all the time. But then, you know, I will watch every now and again. So I think that's something that YouTube need to sort of get rid of. That's, that's just something stupid. And plus it takes my subscribers down. <laughs> um, and it will everyone else's. But... I, I don't watch everyone all the time, you know, it can could be, I mean, there's, there's probably ones I haven't watched for probably a year, but I still like to watch them, I still like to have them come up in my feed every now and again, so I can choose, so I can choose to watch them, not let YouTube choose who I watch and who I've subscribed to. Sorry, that was the cat, jumping on the floor that hard, she moved the tripod, and, come here you, She's still only a little one. Are you going to say hello to everyone? No, she has grown, but she still is only a little one, aren't you? Go on then. There you go. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Oh, keep watching because I am going to be doing an update um, on fibre broadband from City Fibre, which, to be honest... They're just as bad as Virgin. They, all right, they've got a bit of customer service, but I really don't think they know what the hell they're doing. Um, not so much, well, it's both the City Fibre and the actual ISP. Um, they're useless. I mean, this City Fibre is meant to be something for the community, everyone, and to make everything cheap and to make sure it works. Well, at the moment, it's working, but... My God, you should hear what has happened. Um, what City Fibre themselves, actually the workmen, have actually caused. And I'm getting nowhere near the speed that I'm meant to be getting. But that'll be another video that is coming up soon. I am collecting data on speeds and stuff um, from my Virgin Media, which is bang on what it should be. And then the City Fibre, which is probably about 40% less speed than what I'm meant to be getting. Now, this is meant to be, uh, uh, it's, it's just a big minefield. So it's going to be something coming up. So make sure you watch that. Thank you very much. Like and subscribe.